how to spot a narcissist from the first conversation. You can tell if you are interacting with a narcissist from your first conversation with them. Narcissists are good at displaying a false image to people, but there are always red flags that give them away. If you are dealing with someone who is highly narcissistic, they will always hijack the conversation. They will always turn the conversation back to themselves. Because all they care about is themselves. They don't need your input on anything. They have no interest in what you have to say. They think that they know everything they need to know. And they're just going to use the conversation to display their delusional sense of superiority. They're just going to use the conversation to get supply. Even if you get the chance to get a word in, they're not going to listen to anything you have to say. They will either interrupt you or they will wait until you finish so that they can make it all about themselves or change the topic to what they want to talk about because they have no interest in what you have to say unless you're going to validate their false self or the illusion that they're trying to portray. They're not going to take an interest in you because you're just an object to them. They're not going to make the effort to understand how you think or feel about something because they lack empathy. They lack the ability to share your feelings and experiences. They're self-absorbed. They only care about their own feelings and experiences. They will monopolize the conversation. They will talk for several minutes without even realizing that they haven't given you a chance to talk. Because they don't need your input. It's all about them. It's all about what they think or how they feel. And even if you try to share your views or opinions, they will quickly turn every discussion back to what they want to talk about, often without even realizing. They will use conversations to brag and boast about something. Usually it will be greatly exaggerated or they will only focus on the positive aspects to make them look good. They will use narcissism by proxy. They will put people that they know on display and use them to get supply. They thrive on the attention, admiration, fascination or horrified reactions that they receive from doing this. Everything they do is designed to get a reaction from you. It's designed to shock or impress you. It's designed to make you see them as something powerful or superior, desirable or attractive. It's designed to make you see them. And to make them feel like they exist while you're left feeling unheard. You're left without the space to voice your opinions or emotions. You're left without the space to share your story because it always has to be about them. 
They don't care about anything that doesn't relate to them in some way. Because it doesn't give them a supply. It doesn't make them feel good about themselves when they have to listen to you. They just see it as though that's just another minute or second. That they're not extracting supply out of you. Narcissists are very insecure. They are very envious and jealous. They act as though they think they're superior to you. They act as though they think they're grandiose. But deep down they actually feel inferior to you. They feel inferior to everyone around them. And you will notice this any time that you do get the chance to express yourself, any time that you mention something you have achieved or obtained. Any time that you mention something impressive or imposing, rather than congratulating or complimenting you, or appreciating your success, they will either choose to ignore it or they will give you a sly remark. They will underhandedly cut you down and make you feel like it wasn't that great. Or they will try to one-up you. They will try to compete with you by mentioning something they think is better. Because they're envious and jealous. They're very insecure. So they can't even acknowledge your achievements or possessions. They can't give you the credit that you deserve. Because when you're presenting this to them, it makes them feel small. It makes them feel inferior to you. And they don't like the way that feels. So they try to project those emotions onto you by making you feel like you're not that great or that they or someone they know is better. When you're having a conversation with a narcissist, they will often bring up inappropriate topics. They will bring up things that are not suitable or proper in the circumstances. They will bring up things that are controversial. They will say things that might be considered offensive, upsetting or disgusting. Things that are overly personal or familiar. They will ridicule other people and make hurtful comments about their appearance. They will criticize things that they like or are interested in. They will mock their religion, ethnic background or culture. They will put people down. They will laugh at their misfortune. And if you do not approve of what they are doing, they will not reflect on their words or actions. They will not consider that what they are saying or doing is wrong. They will see it as though you're the problem. They will say that you're too sensitive or that you're wrong. They're never going to understand where you're coming from because they lack empathy. They lack the ability to share another person's feelings and experiences. So in their minds, it doesn't matter what they say about people. In their minds it's justified. They deserve it. The narcissist will often bond with people over their hatred or disapproval of another person because that is what interests them. It is an activity that they enjoy. It gives them an opportunity to project their insecurities on someone else. It gives them an opportunity to shift the blame when in essence, all they're really doing is running from themselves. To spot a narcissist from the first conversation, 
you will need to observe them carefully. You will need to identify if they are able to share your feelings and experiences. Are they interested in what you have to say? Do they ask you questions? Are they willing to let you speak without any interruption? Do they try to turn the conversation back to themselves? Do they use the conversation to get supply? Do they use narcissism by proxy? Do they use conversations to ridicule other people or put them down? If the answer to most of these questions is yes, it is likely that you are having a conversation with a narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survival website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk. We can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.